This is spring in North Carolina. Maybe no more crazy. What do we have here? This is almost as exciting as butter. It won't be long until... This is a one-time opportunity. Well, it's, um, <laughs> actually the wind stopped. It's cold again, y'all. It's cold-ish. I won't tell you what it is. Now, I'll tell you what it is. It's like 53, but it feels like 43 because it was 80 just a few days ago. <laughs> so, we just can't. This is March, though. This is spring in North Carolina. Heck, this is like any time in North Carolina, right? You just never know. You just never know what it's going to be. But especially this time of year. And it is windy. And I'm sure you can hear that. So, um, yeah. Got to feed some hay. And we got to go make a load of feed. It's beautiful though. The sun's shining. We'll take it. Wesley's in there today too. like five I don't I think that's all we're getting done so um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the others put them in the herd or sell them but um, they're really too fat to sell so we'll probably just keep them I guess as replacement heifers anyway we're getting close y'all we're getting close hopefully we won't have to make maybe maybe no more creep feed maybe to open it. Gonna do that. Alright, now I'm not very good at this as we all know. What's there? Hey. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's okay. Okay. Doing lady. That calf just came running after her. Look out, lady. Look out. Come here. Lady. They're coming back, lady. Get him. Get him, girl. <laughs> Are 
Are y'all feeling frisky or what? Golly, you're even blowing steam out of your nose. It's not that cold, I think. almost as exciting as butter. Okay. <laughs> I'm cooking. Um, because everything was just getting a little intense. So he's using that old one because he says um, if he hits some rocks or something, he'd rather do it with that older one than with the, the newer John Deere. So, um, <laughs> all right, we're making a really super easy supper. I got my Farm Bureau hat on y'all. I got a Farm Bureau meeting in a little bit. I got to change, but I didn't have time to wash my hair. So, it's a hat night, and it just, it just seemed like the thing to do, to rep, to be, to rep. It's a cute little hat, and I appreciate it. They gave it to me years ago. Okay, um, this is what we're doing. This is one of my go-to easy peasy, easy peasy meals. A pound of hamburger, a jar of Alfredo sauce. I added a little bit of half and half to the jar and shook it up just to get the little rest of it off. Peas and corn, which I know grosses some of y'all out, whatever. And then some noodles. I let Austin choose what kind of noodles. These are gluten-free, don't tell anybody. And they have a little different consistency, so I'm not sure. But you know, by the time we sop, sop, sop hmm, cover, saturate with that, then it won't be. It'll be fine, it's gonna be fine. I feel like this needs a little something, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go a little rogue here. I usually just put this in stew. I'm gonna put a little I'm gonna put a little brown label. We're gonna see how that works. Okay. There's really there's really nothing you can't put musket powder in, honestly, except for maybe like cake or something. But there's really nothing you can't can't use one of these five flavors for. Let's see. We have some really bad lighting here. That did good. That did really good. I'm gonna give it a little sprinkle. Of course, Himalayan pink salt. And we're good. Oh, I got something to tell you. This seemed like a good time, just as a reminder. We've got these two gift pack size things. These gift box, we call them gift size, but I mean, you can get them to yourself, obviously. So it's like two different sizes. So that way, if you either haven't tried the musket powder and you wanna get every flavor and try every one, look at there, I'd already gotten into that. Try every one, you've got these, we got two ounce and four ounce. I love them. These, um, these sell like hotcakes. These are our best sellers. These and coffee. That is what's flying out this farm wife shop. Go figure, who'd have thought? Not me, I never would have thought. My biggest sellers would have been coffee and seasoning, but here we are, and I love it. I love that you love it. And if you haven't tried it, you will love it, okay? This one, I've already had to get into this one, right? I tried to keep it for display purposes, but that, no, I'm gonna use them. So, there you go, they're in the shop. I will link to them up here. Never, never, can never remember. I think it's here. I think it's opposite what I think it is, I think. Um, but if you go to my shop, this farm, this farm wife shop, did I do that right? Probably not. You can find it there. Alrighty, it's about time to call the troops in. We gotta leave early. I gotta head, I gotta head 30 minutes that way and they gotta go to church the other way. It's team effort on nights like this, but Y'all, it won't be long. Do you understand? I'm having to understand that it won't be long until my son, Wesley, will be driving. So, I, if I ever find myself wanting to complain about having to take them anywhere, I'm not. I don't. I'm not complaining. Nope. 
because in a few months he's going to be able to cart himself and his sissy everywhere and I'm going to miss it. His stuff's falling over. His stuff's falling over. But um, I'm going to miss these days, you know? So are we going to cry? Yeah. I'll try not to cry right now, though. Whew. Everyone is frisky this morning. <laughs> oh my gosh. Everybody's out and about. Well, I totally missed some good video this morning. I hate when I do that. The big um, spreader truck was out here putting out some fertilizer on our hay fields. Yeah, and the barley. But I was I was shooting, I was heading out the door and Lawrence was coming back. He's like, we're done. So I missed it, but it's good to know that that's done and we're supposed to get some rain in a couple days. So hopefully it's perfect timing. At least the wind has died down today. I couldn't video anything yesterday. It was blowing. It was like Nebraska, y'all. It was Nebraska wind yesterday. It was warm. It's cooler today, but it's still nice. So we're gonna stretch our legs a little bit before we finish tackling school and the day, whatever the rest of the day holds. So I think the puppies are glad to be out. Yeah, I think so. Look at that blue sky, y'all. It's gorgeous. All right, so this side is our fescue, which has been there forever. And then this is the Matua. So hopefully, after that shot of fertilizer and some warm weather and some rain, it'll really shoot up. Oh, he got all the he got all the um, the edge there cleaned up and bush hogged and the trees cut down. Doesn't that look good? Clean as a whistle. Yeah. What do you think, Duke? What do you think? I'm <laughs> just happy to be here. Hey y'all, coming to you from the crib. All right, I decided to save this for the end of the video because I know that if you're still here watching, you are my diehards. You're our true blue community. Um, the people that have supported us probably for years now and hopefully believe in us as a family, as a small American <laughs> hardworking farmers. And I know that so many of you are very similar. Um, maybe you're not farmers, but I know that we share many of the same values and we love and appreciate your support. So, several weeks ago, I think it's probably been five or six, I mentioned something, an opportunity that I was working on that I was super excited about. And since then, I've really had an opportunity to dive into it. And I'm more excited today than I was then. And the coolest thing about this project this mission and this movement is that there's an opportunity to join forces and make a difference. I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail here. I'm gonna save that for a discovery call coming up next week that I'm gonna invite you to. This is a one-time opportunity for you to join me and for us to be a team to get this out into the world. I wanna get the word out to as many people as possible, but I can't do it alone. I need some help and that is the whole purpose of this is to find my inner circle, to find the people that wanna work with me on this. And that's why I hope you'll join the call to find out more if you're interested. I'm looking for good folks with great people skills that are interested in making a difference and also generating some really good cash flow on the side. That's negative or negative. Um, looking for people with similar values that value American made, American owned. If any of this sounds interesting to you, I'm going to have a link in the description of this video. We are going to have a discovery call so I can tell you more about this. The overarching theme here is switch away. We're switching away. We're switching away from big box, switching away from not made in America as much as possible, switching away from values that are not the same as ours. Um, that's what I'm doing and that's what I think a lot of you are going to love about this and hopefully join me in doing. There's going to be a Zoom call. If you don't have Zoom, it's a free app you can download and put on your phone or your computer. A 30-minute call, just asking for 30 minutes of your time to hear me out and meet the people that um, I've been connected with that are awesome and I know you're going to love. So come hang out with us, see what it's about. If it's for you, great. If it's not, no harm, no foul. 
and I hope to see you there. All right, let's do this.